Hi, welcome to the tutorial video for Fisticuffs, a card game by the Nerdalogs. My name is Chris, I'm one of the designers of the game. Fisticuffs is a boxing game that takes place in the 1920s on an airship in the clouds. You and your friends will take the place as fighters in a winner-takes-all tournament where the survivor will get his or her greatest wish fulfilled. All right, to get started, first each player selects their favorite fighter from our cast of characters. Now each fighter has their own special power that can really change how the game is played. But if it's your first time playing, we really recommend playing without the powers to keep things simple. So we'll just select these four here. We'll select the Lion Sun, the Congo Bongo, the Thunder from Down Under, and the Marvelous Madam. So after you select your fighter, uh, just set the character card on top of your health card like so. And that'll signify that you have 12 health. Now as you take hits to the face, such as jabs and stomps and spits and haymakers, you'll move the card down to signify how much health you've lost. Until so it gets all the way to knockout and you're bam, you're out of there. Cool. Now the game is simple. It's basically Uno meets the Hunger Games. So when the game starts, each fighter is dealt five punch cards. They kind of look like this. Now you'll note a couple things about these punch cards. They color, which comes in red and yellow and blue. The type, which are spits and jams and stomps and haymakers, hooks, there's uppercuts and headbutts and stuff, and how much damage it does. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus five. Now on your turn, you'll take one punch card out of your hand to start a brawl with any player at the table. So let's say these four fighters are fighting. On the Lion Sun's turn, we'll say uh, the Lion Sun's starting first. On the Lion Sun's turn, he will throw a punch card from his hand at any fighter at the table. So let's say he decides to throw a hook at the Congo Bongo over here. That would be three damage going Gene's way, and if it goes through, then Gene would lose three health and go down to nine from 12. Now luckily, Gene can defend himself. He has his own punch cards in his hand, and if he has a hook in his hand, that just has to be a card of the same type, doesn't matter if it's the same color, just the same type, he can use that card to block it. And when he does, it stops the damage from coming through him. Then he gets the opportunity to counter that punch with another card out of his hand, so long as it matches the color, so in this case, red. So he throws that haymaker down, it's the same color as his block, back at the Lion Sun, and that deals five damage, so he turned that three into a five, and the Lion Sun would go from 12 down to seven. What's great is that that would keep going on until Someone runs out of punch cards, they can keep countering and blocking, countering and blocking, countering and blocking until they run out of cards to play or they decide not to play any blocks or counters, and then the brawl ends. But what's great is that anyone can participate in the brawl. So let's say the Lion Sun throws that hook over at the Congo Bongo, and the Congo Bongo doesn't have the hook in his hand, he can say towel. And that'll open it up to the rest of the table to block for him. So let's say uh, Archie over here, the Thunder from Down Under, decides to try to make a friend. He throws the block in for the Congo Bongo. Then he gets the opportunity to throw a counter of his own at anybody involved in the brawl, which would be these two guys. So he could throw that haymaker back at the Lion Sun to kind of get back at him, make a friend out of uh, Gene here. Or he could throw that minus five at the Congo Bongo thinking, hey, that minus three wasn't enough. Let's really do five damage to him. Now you can towel at any step. So let's say uh, Gene says towel, he doesn't have the block. Archie throws in the block here and he says towel. And let's say the Marvelous Madam here, she joins in with her counter, and she could throw that counter at anyone involved in the fight. After the cards have been dealt to everyone, we decide who gets to go first with the best battle cry. And I think you can imagine some of the battle cries for these guys. I'm sure the Congo Bongo would win with a little gorilla roar and a beat of his chest. And the fighter who wins that gets to go first. They get the, the bell, which signifies that they started the round, and the glove, which signifies uh, it's the beginning of their turn. They take their turn throwing a punch card at anyone at the table, resolve the brawl, and after that, the glove moves and keeps moving around the table to your left until it meets back at the bell where we punch the bell, ding, and we go back to our corners and we draw new cards. Now at the end of the round, each player is dealt a round card and then enough punch cards to total six cards in your hand with the round card included. There is no maximum hand size but after the first round, your minimum hand size is six. Now round cards are unique cards that allow you to do cool things that affect the brawl. And they come in three flavors. They come in Russians, Parries, and Faints. 
Now rushes are big impact cards that allow you to draw cards and punch or deal unblockable damage. And you play those instead of a punch card to start a brawl. Parries are cards that you can play during a brawl that it will allow you to block anything or change a counter to a color of any kind. Feints are cards that you can play between brawls that allow you to steal cards or force your opponent to discard cards. Now if you ever get confused as to when to play a round card or anything else, check the reference card. It has everything you need to know how to play and when to play. So after everyone has drawn up to the minimum hand size of six, the bell and glove move one fighter to the left and the next round begins with that fighter. And then this keeps going until there are uh, two fighters left standing. And when that happens, the uh, bell is discarded, but the glove continues to move. And whenever you receive the glove, you draw one punch card, and that's it. And then you keep slugging until there is one fighter left standing, and that fighter becomes the champion of fisticuffs. And of course, it's Congo Bongo. He's my favorite. That's it. That's the whole game. Thank you so much for watching and for backing or purchasing this game or for just playing it. We hope to hear some of your great feedback and thoughts on Twitter or on Facebook. Uh, we put a lot of heart and energy into this thing, so we really enjoy every time someone picks up the game. See you next time.